Well, Bill, one key theme kept coming up every time we talked to someone that knows Abigail Spanberger very well. They see echoes of her personality and the kinds of issues she's tried to tackle her first two years in Congress. We met um, during training. Charlotte McWilliams got to know Abigail Spanberger and the CIA. Foot soldiers, not always. Like, you're the ones out there. You're where the rubber meets the road. Their bond grew from more than just work. McWilliams says they both became pregnant while actively working spies. You're having to do something we call surveillance, surveillance detection routes or clandestine meetings. You're making sure that nobody um, can possibly trace, you know, trace this person through you. Um, doing that, you know, while pregnant. Foreign assets don't just open up to the U.S. government. McWilliams says agents have to be tough, but also genuine. Being able to find the common ground, I think a lot of that um, is just inherently part of Abby. I think Abby has really reinvented, for me personally, what a politician should look like, right? A politician that should be, should be real and authentic um, and should care deeply about her constituents. Spanberger's connection to the 7th District dates back to childhood and time spent at Tucker High School. She cares deeply about her community. World language teacher Val Goss. He gives me a lot more credit than I deserve. And debate coach Art Raymond believe the diversity Spanberger encountered at Tucker helped cultivate the public servant she has become. So it's really kind of no accident in, in a way that she as she came here and developed that sense, that perspective of the world, and not, you know, not seeing differences in people at first, but seeing, seeing what brings us together and then appreciating those differences. I think she listens very deeply. She listens hard to what people say, and she does her homework. On the campaign trail, Spanberger touts her work to help rural parts of the district and her willingness to buck her own party while attack ads try to paint her as a partisan liberal. Every side is like, this person is the devil. High school friends you Don know? Childs and Mary Beth El Shafi. We're in a place where we just crave goodness. And I feel like during this pandemic, um, it's missing, like in politics. Say people who only know the Congresswoman from TV ads or news articles aren't seeing the full picture. Just has a fun personality, um, a warmth about her and just always made people feel included. When you know her, you know that that is her spirit and that is really the bottom line. Yeah. She doesn't care about, you know, party. She doesn't necessarily, you know, she really truly cares about people.